Hello and welcome to the Flix Forum podcast where each episode we go back and we look at a Netflix original film in the order of release. This is Netflix 306th film from 2020. It's the Indian Hindi language black comedy crime film Ludo. This one is directed by Anurag Basu and stars an ensemble cast including Abhishek Bakan, Aditya Roy Kapoor, Rajkumar Rao, Pankaj Tripathi, Fatima San Shakik, Sanya Malhota, Rohit Saref Sharaf, and Pearl Mani. I'm Jesse, I'm your host. Apologies for the pronunciation of some of the names. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're excited for this film. As always, if you haven't seen the film and really want to check it out, give us a pause and come back later on because we will spoil it as we go. Because we kick off the show with the Fast Flicks, where we do a quick little summary of what the film's all about. So, Ludo, this one's, I guess it's four different stories that overlap through crime and morals and the game of Ludo, uh, <laughs> which is uh, an interesting concept, I guess. So, that's where we're at. Um, let's work out how did this end up on Netflix. Uh, I guess the, the film, it was initially scheduled to be released on the 24th of April, 2020, but was postponed because of the covid 19 pandemic there were rumors that the film would be released released on amazon prime video uh, but netflix jumped in and bought the rights to the film it was released on the 13th of november on netflix or was, well, was meant to be um released on the 13th of november um but was pushed back to avoid a clash with amazon prime's film called shalang so it was actually released on the 12th of november um, which coincided with diwali um cool cool little story in an interview with PTI in February of 2021, the director, Anag Basu, said that the script of Ludo 2 is completely ready to go, and that he's already discussed it with the film's producers. So uh, they've got a sequel ready to go, which is exciting. Uh, Anurag Basu, the director, he is also the narrator of this film too, and he's shown in the climax of the film on screen as well. So a nice little cameo there. This film was pretty well received uh, awards-wise. It had 38 nominations and 18 wins, so quite a lot. Uh, at the 66th Film Fair Awards, it received the 16 nominations, including Best Film, Best Director, Best Actor, Best um, Another Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor. It won Best Music Direction. Also had six nominations at the IFA Awards. So pretty well received uh, in India for this film. Translations around the world. In Japanese, this one is called Ludo, Four Stories. I don't mind that little subtext. And in Chinese, it's called Win or Lose Life. <laughs> uh, puts a bit of a negative spin on the title. This did have the working title of the untitled Anurag Basu film. So obviously a director that people want to hear about. What are the critics and audiences saying about this film? On Rotten Tomato, sits at 80%. That's on 15 reviews. So it is fresh. The audience, pretty much similar. 79% on more than 100 ratings. On IMDb, it sits at a 7.6 out of 10 on 43,000 ratings. Again, very positive. And on Letterboxd, it sits at a 3.4 out of 5 on nearly 9,000 ratings. And it's been logged by 13,000 people. So what are my early thoughts? Uh, this is, I've just got to put it out there. This is a two and a half hour film. It's, it's a monster of a film. The first hour, I was completely confused and not really enjoying it. But once things started to click, I really, really like this. I think this deserves multiple rewatches. Uh, the visuals, the editing, the stories all really good so i'm on board uh, let's talk about the characters as i said this is an ensemble cast <laughs> there are so many stories to try and keep track of they all do crossover at various stages uh so it, it all revolves around Satu, i guess who's this gangster so everyone sort of gets involved with him one way or another um and they all they pair them off in colors obviously so to to match that ludo board game um Akash and Ahana, so they're sort of coupled together. Akash is a ventriloquist um, and a voiceover um, expert, I guess. There's a sex tape of the two of them that goes viral. And uh, I guess <laughs> their job is to work together to try and stop it from being spread any further. So the issue with this is that Ahana is about to get married and she wants to get to the bottom of it. But, you know, as a person, she chases sugar daddies and, and guys who have money. So her interest in Aksha was merely for fun, I guess. But over the course of the film possibly towards it right near the end realizes that money isn't really everything um even if it does take until those final moments uh pinky pinky's a female whose husband's been cheating on her um and he gets caught up in a, a murder um, situation so he's sent to prison so she goes to her childhood friend alu um so it's really about pinky and alu in this story and and he's this guy that's been in love with her since they were younger and he'll do anything for her he's the most annoying character i know he's supposed to be comedic but it just didn't work for me he was super annoying um 
our blue people, we had Rahul and Seizure. So he works in retail. He's got a horrible boss and she works in the medical industry. She's like a nurse and she's treated poorly by her colleagues too. So Rahul, he gets caught up in the, the criminal world by witnessing a murder and ends up blowing up the criminal's headquarters and then they both end up with the money. So it's about them getting that escape with the money. And then the last sort of character that we'll touch on, I guess, is Bitu. Um, he's probably supposed to be the emotional um, connection that you have in this film. He's an old associate of Satu the gangster, and Batu has been in jail for many years. So his wife's left with their daughter. Um, he gets out. They've, you know, they're not around. He wants to rebuild his life, and he does this. It's sort of weird how they do this through this young girl called Minnie, who um, I guess falls into his traps because she has parents that don't really give her attention, um, and she wants that attention from her parents, and she gets it from Batu, and he's happy to have a kid that actually wants to talk to him because his daughter doesn't. So. That's where we're at with that. Um, the director, Anurag Basu, 20 directing credits, including one of the first soap operas on Indian television too. So nice little credit there. All right, let's talk about some scenes. What stood out? What didn't uh, work for me? I mean, there's a lot that work. It's a long film. So obviously there's going to be a lot of stuff in it. Akash. So this is near the start of the film. Akash is our ventriloquist um, and the sex tape guy. <laughs> he goes to see his brother for help with this sex tape. And the brother's response is not what you expect. He sort of hugs him and says, thank God you're straight. <laughs> you've always been hanging out with boys. We thought you were gay. So that was funny. And then he's like, you know, next time you make a video, make sure you turn the lights out. So that was funny too. Uh, then we have um, Aksha go to see Ahana to sort of tell her about the tape. And um, he's like, did your fiance go to porn sites? <laughs> that was funny too. Uh, throughout the film, obviously colors are a really big part to match those colors on the Ludo board of blue, red, green, and yellow. And there's this really cool shot of all the men split in four across the screen as they go to sleep in the different colors. That was really visually cool. Um, so too, <laughs> so this gangster, he wakes up in a hospital bed after surviving being thrown off a bridge and he sees um seizure the nurse who threw him off the bridge and he just like smiles at her that was funny and then all the gangsters come into his room and he's like signaling for a pen to write down who she is that she's got the money and they all think he wants a cigarette so that was funny um ahana she always gets these phone calls from her husband um and she's trying to cover up that she's with akash and akash obviously works doing voiceovers so he does like these whole conversations um pretending that he's her family in the background that was really clever. Did it a couple of times. Um, there's a montage where Ahana and Akshar, they go to all the hotels that slept together. <laughs> that was funny. Um, Alu. So Alu's the annoying guy that's in love with Pinky. Um, and he does anything Pinky says, including, you know, breaking her cheating husband out of a hospital. Um, he got, got him out of prison by giving him drugs. He's got to a hospital, breaks him out by driving a crane through a hospital window. <laughs> Um, and it was funny because obviously Satu's with him in that room as well. They both get on this crane. They drive down the street. That, that was quite funny. Um, and Satu going back, he, like he bails on this nurse that helped him out. And he goes back to get her and then he gets out of the car and he's just hit by a truck. <laughs> just one more bad thing to happen. This guy cannot be killed. So that was a funny moment too. Things that I didn't like, uh, all the songs. I mean, I know this is a Bollywood film. The songs just didn't work for me. Um, Akash, his ventriloquist sets, um, a cash he's like you know trying to prove that he's straight and he says i'm as straight as a bottle on a table like poor dialogue uh bitter i mentioned this i guess i guess a bit as with his character but him making that connection with that mini kid like he follows her through an alley at night time and then there's like this fairy tale sort of music that plays and then he spends the night with her and holds her hand while she falls asleep super creepy <laughs> just really creepy uh and alu i mentioned before his personality throughout just really Oh, really annoyed me. Uh, themes, ideas. What's this film saying? Obviously, like it just touches on everything, like moral sins, what's fair, what's unfair, the idea of fate, the idea of money, greed, crime. You know, you might quit that life of crime, but the, that doesn't quit you. Um, the devil. You know, there was a line I think it was like, "We all have the devil inside us." It's like a soda drink waiting to bubble. Oh, then I didn't mind that. I thought that was clever. Uh, Ludo, <laughs> the game. You know, strategy, pawns. That idea of reaching home. What is home? is that love. Um, I think love's probably a big player in this. Who do you love? Because most of the men in this film are lonely. Um, and that idea of loneliness too. Uh, what did I take away from this film? The color design. The color design was so cool. As well as the editing. It was very, I know it's a two and a half hour film. And there are a lot of montages even in a two and a half hour film. But the editing was so sharp. Really, really good. Impressive technically. Uh, IMDb. I didn't jump on it. Like um, Pankash Tripathi, like he's been in so many Netflix films that we've covered. I just wanted to check out on IMDb, what are some of the films that we've covered? Because his face is so familiar. So obviously he's in this film, Ludo. He was in Drive, a Netflix original that we covered, which is a pretty ordinary film. Uh, he was in Extraction, that film with Chris Hemsworth. He was in 
uh, Gunja Saxena, the Cargill girl, which was also a decent film as well. So um, yeah, obviously likes to get a lot of work because they've all been in the last couple of years of this Netflix catalog. Questions, ponderings. Um, Alu, so Alu, the annoying guy, is he the only good person in the film? He, he's, he goes above and beyond for someone who treats him pretty poorly. Is he the only good person in the film? Because I find it hard to, to work out who actually is a good person in this film, but maybe you don't need a good person in this film. Um, I'm ready to wrap it up. We give the film a rating out of five. For me, I think this definitely deserves repeat watching. Sitting through that first struggle of an hour, I guess, I think seeing it again would be really good knowing who all the characters are now and, and what they're up to. I, I really high, re- highly recommend this film. I'm giving this a four out of five. High school for me, four out of five. We're on socials. We've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, and we've got X, formerly known as Twitter. The question about this film, have you played Ludo, this board game? I, I I think I've not I know of it, but I've never played it, don't know the rules, don't understand the mechanisms of it. I'm just wondering, is this a big game um, in India? Is it a big game around the world? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm intrigued. Let me know on the socials. We're back next week. Next week, we're in uh, <laughs> that time of year where we're going to start getting some Christmas films. So we've got a Christmas film next week from 2020. It's the musical fantasy called Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. This one is directed by David E. Talbot and stars Forrest Whitaker, Keegan-Michael Key, Hugh Bonneville, Anika Noni-Rose, Felicia Rashad, Lisa Devane Phillip, Ricky Martin, and Madeline Mills. So that's what we got next week. I'm excited. Christmas film, uh, early in the year, but that's okay. We'll, we'll see what it's like. As always, thanks for hanging out. Hope you've seen this film. If not, I, I recommend giving it a watch, and I'll see you next week.